Hello and thank you for watching our Mario Kart 8 preview video. Now we've played all the mushroom, flower, shell and banana cups, so we're going to ramble through some of our favourite bits of these. So feel free to select which cup you'd like to go to first. There'll also be a nice little chapter select thing all the way through this video, so if you get bored of us you can just skip to the next one. So we're going to kick things off with the mushroom cup. Okay, so this is Mario Kart Stadium, this is the first uh, kind of track in the mushroom cup and as you'd expect from a Mario Kart game, it's a fairly, uh, fairly standard stadium to start off with. Who have we gone there? Who's that We have person? gone with uh, one of the Koopalings, uh, the kind of seven of Bowser's kids are, are the kind of new characters in this game. So this yeah. is, I believe, is Morton Koopa. Jr. Morton. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, this is also kind of, oh, just ignore that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> this also um, shows off the new kind of anti-gravity stuff. You can see his wheels have kind of gone up like the DeLorean and Back to the Future. So, so right now we're upside down. Yeah, more or less. And you can okay. tell, it's only really when you look at the backgrounds that you can then see oh, yeah. it side to side. But when you're actually racing it, you don't really notice it a lot. Yeah, it's only when like you jump from uh, normal to uh, anti-grav like, mode, you get an awesome sort of little, it's almost like, I don't want to compare it to gravity, the movie, but it is almost <laughs> like that. It's like, exactly like gravity. It's exactly <laughs> that grab to the movie. It's these amazing bits where you don't actually notice what's happening until you're flying yeah. up and you come sort of back on yourself and uh, some bonkers bits in there. Yeah, it's pretty um, awesome. But yeah, this is a pretty standard one really. Uh, so we've got Water Park next. Yeah, I quite like this one. It's like a uh, kind of fun fair type situation. So you, you're basically going in the entrance way here, um, going round and then you'll dip underwater to a kind of underwater roller coaster. And the trick here, I don't think we do it in this video, but as you as these uh, carts come past, you can hit off the side of it and get a speed boost because there's kind of wheels around the side of them. Mm. So you can bump into those and actually, um, it seems counterintuitive to bump into an obstacle, but it yeah. actually helps you out here. You can also, like, there like you go, that. that's awesome, yeah. yeah. You can also, I notice as well, you get a little speed boost when you bump into some people when you're drifting, I think. Yeah, and when, when you're anti-gravity as well, because what happens when you go anti-gravity, your wheels go to the side. So yeah. when you bump into someone when they're anti-gravity, um, if you're going faster, you'll get a speed boost because your wheels will spin off their wheels. And, ah, and that's that what it is, yeah, because yeah. I noticed that was happening quite a lot when we were playing, because, I mean, we played it for a good sort of, like, four hours, I reckon. Yeah. Um, just, like, absolutely hammering through every track. Yeah. Uh, what have we got coming up next? This, this is one. Sweet Sweet Canyon. Um, sweet I'm Sweet Canyon. I'm not sure if Nintendo saw Wreck-It Ralph while they were designing this yeah, game. Yeah, man. But, um, this is exactly like Sugar Rush <laughs> from exactly. uh, Wreck-It Ralph. There's the boomerang Yeah, as this well. is a new this boomerang amazing. weapon. This is pretty cool. It's kind of like a green shell and it goes in a straight line, but it's different than that. It comes back, so you get three throws at it, basically. Yeah. Plus, um, it goes right through people when you throw it. So um, if, you, if you've got a big group of like four or five racers in front of you, you can plow it right through them, yeah. and then it obviously it'll come back as well and hit them again. The thing that I was using it for and I thought was really, really helpful was now and again, uh, like you sort of save your power-ups, don't you? Because you yeah. think, oh, like if you had a red shell, you would, you probably wouldn't throw it at someone who was sitting right next to you because you think, okay, I want to save this for when I, I really need to sort of lock on somebody. But yeah. with these, I was using it more because you can you throw it straight away and you hit someone, and then chances are it's going to hit somebody on the way back as <laughs> yeah, well. Exactly. So you get like a couple of instances to uh, have a go at it, which is awesome. Yeah. This is Thwomp Ruins. Yeah, this is a pretty. I mean, this is a fairly standard stage. It's um, the return of the Thwomp enemies, which are most Mario Kart players. Turn of the Thwomp. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it's, um, as most people know, it's kind of the most annoying enemies in the, in the Mario Kart games yeah. because you can never really time. This is awesome. Yeah, I love the, the kind of say, some of the. Stages every time you see a blue ramp, you can go up to the. Uh, you can go up up on the yeah. sides of the things, and also what's really really cool is you can also throw. Uh, I don't know if sure. yes, yeah, you've seen someone throw a banana there. Like you can actually throw from the ground to the side, and it sticks yeah, on the wall, so you can like cool. really screw people up by doing that. Yeah, which and there's is, a bit awesome. And there's a bit coming up here. I think we fall off the side here, uh, where you can see. Um, that when you fall off the side, like you two kind of picks you up a lot quicker than usual. Yeah, so look at that, you're straight back no, on. When you drop off, it's not doesn't take you completely out of the race anymore no. like it used to do, which is handy. Yeah, we should point out this is actually Matthew Castle from Official Nintendo Magazine <laughs> yeah. Player, not us at this point. No, we've got um, So skills. anything shit that happens, that, that's completely him. But yeah, that was a good thing actually, because obviously we were playing it for the first time, so we sort of just getting the grips with things. Yeah. Um, and yeah, noticing how quickly you get back into things yeah. uh, when Lacky picks you up, which is really, really good, I think. Yeah. So that was the Mushroom Cup. So next we're going on to the Flower Cup. What we go first? Well, this is Mario Circuit. It's quite confusing because <laughs> the first cup starts with Mario Kart Stadium and then the second cup starts with Mario Circuit, mm -hmm. um, which is confusing. But this is basically set around Peach's Castle, but uh, you can kind of see as you as you as you go by, you can see Peach's Castle coming by upside down. Yeah. Um, so although it doesn't initially appear like you're upside down at this point, you actually are. You can see Peach's Castle oh, yeah. being, like 
going to spend it on you, which is a pretty cool thing. What do you think of that? Because uh, when I saw that sort of anti-grav stuff, I thought it was going to be, all oh, right, you're going to be racing actually upside down at some yeah. point. But I guess that would never actually work and it'd be too, it'd be too disorientating. Well, it's strange because I was expecting a kind of F-Zero type effort. But, yeah, um, maybe. Like we were saying earlier, it's, 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 a kind of, it's a subtle effect that half the time you don't actually realise it because yeah. the camera's centred on you. Um, unless you're looking out for, say, Peach's Castle going by yeah, upside like down, you, 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 don't, mad. you don't actually know what's happening because the road kind of just subtly bends as, as you sometimes as you're going round. So, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool effect. So this is Toad Harbour. An awesome thing about this, you can see like Wario's uh, yacht and stuff like <laughs> that on the side. And if you look even further out as well, there's a statue. I think this is of Rosalina or Rosalita, yeah, like in the in. I don't know. She's almost like a sort of Statue of Liberty. Yeah, type that's thing. right. This was. I think this is one of my favourite tracks. I think. Yeah. It sort of reminded me a little tiny bit of like Shy Guys Bazaar, like yeah. when you go on top of the uh, um, when you go on top of the shops and stuff. Yeah, and it's also some of the Daisy uh, track in I think it was Mario Kart Wii, mm. where, where it's, it's a kind of street, almost like a, like a, like a little village type thing. As yeah. Well. Um, like you're saying about the um, like the details with the ship and all that. You look, especially in the replays, you get a lot of time to see all the kind of signs that have been put in there. There's yeah. the kind of Mario Grand Prix stuff, but there's really clever stuff like um, there's one up insurance company and all that kind of stuff. There is like, loads kind of, of stuff like address. that. Um, it's the kind of thing that I reckon someone like Insert Coin Clothing would just go absolutely yeah. mad for. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But um, yeah, no, there's some awesome bits on this. Yeah, like, and the kind oh, of crazy taxi style cable, uh, cable cars as yeah. well. Which is but there. yeah, you can see you can see some of the stuff there, like some of the like little adverts for little businesses and stuff. It's yeah. nice to see the Mushroom Kingdom is flourishing. And yeah, small um, businesses are really sort of especially doing these, well. Especially in these times of economic crisis. What have you got next? What's this? This is Twisted Mansion, which is kind of replacing the Luigi's Mansion stage from past games. Oh uh, yeah, this was a good one actually. Yeah, this is the one that makes the best use of the kind of anti-gravity thing because yeah. there's times where you'll go up onto the roof and there's the track splits into two, where some of you'll go up onto the roof and some of you'll stay on the floor. Yeah. So as you drive, you can see people above you. Like, there was a down. sort of thing there where we just saw what we were talking about was someone getting a little bit of boost off yeah. uh, ramming into you on the anti-gravity. It was so slick when people run into you as well. Like it feels like it should slow you down, but actually, yeah. there you go, you're there, you can so see yeah, it. Yeah, there's a the track split and you can Very see a guy cool. above you just off the corner of the screen. Yeah, it's a really nice It thing. looks amazing as well. I know yeah. like, you probably won't get the full thing because it's obviously this is all off-screen footage. Yeah. Because um, we wouldn't like take any direct capture, but it just looks incredible. Also the fact that um, on YouTube you don't get the full effect from the uh, 60 frames a second as well. Mm -hmm. Running at 60, it's 60 frames on single player and two player but uh, three or four player drops down to 30 frames, but it's still yeah. an amazing looking game. And this is Shy Guy Falls, which I think we both agreed is probably the best track so far. It's the ones amazing. Um, I think, because at a start it's sort of just normal and you're sort of plodding along and it's pretty decent. And then I think we're just about to hit the bits. Yeah, this is you now coming up a waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> which is just ridiculous. Coming up a waterfall. <laughs> coming up, coming up Millhouse. And um, then and then it just goes absolutely nuts. Yeah, so what you've bit. just done there, we've just come around that, that fence and we're kind of now going down there another go. waterfall and then we zoom up. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> and the really shortcut there as well. Yeah, and the, fir yeah, the first time that that happens, uh, I think everyone was just like, whoa, let's go on. <laughs> like, that's a bit where it was like, it's like gravity, it's like gravity. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if this is the one that we were racing straight back onto again to have another go on. Um, yeah. yeah, Shy Guy Falls is pretty much our favourite track of everything yeah. we've seen so far, the new ones, right? Basically, if we go online multiplayer when this comes out and people are choosing Rainbow Road instead of Shy Guy Falls, we're yeah. going to live it. Although we should point out we haven't played Rainbow Road Yeah, it could be, yet, it could so be a it good could Rainbow be Road. amazing. Okay, next up is Shell Cup. Yep, and this is Moo Moo Meadow, so this is the first of the kind of retro tracks. This yeah. is from the N64 version, and they've properly redone these stages. Like, yeah. I mean, they've done it in the past, but this is a, f a really impressive kind of take on an N64 mm. track. The music as well on this stage is ridiculous. And it's got the proper fiddle music and everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of the tracks have got anti-gravity stuff put in them. This one doesn't so much. This one's slightly more subtle. There's a little ramp for you yeah. to uh, do a glide off, but you can now do tricks off the moles, uh, the trails that the moles leave. You can That's trick cool. off those, but other than that, it's fairly a fairly standard retro track. There is a bit where you can shoot a cow as well, and the cow jumps up in the air. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure if we've got any footage of that. No, but it is awesome. <laughs> uh, next up. Uh, this is Mario Circuit. This is from the Game Boy Advance, but as you can see, um, the, the, the massive oh, section of the track has kind of been lifted up into the air. So <laughs> it becomes, it's, it's amazing when you start this, this uh, race, actually. It shows you the kind of layout of the track, and the camera pans around certain sections. And you just see the whole track kind of going and tilting up to the side, yeah. which is pretty amazing. 
But yeah, it's... the bikes handle pretty well in this as well. They don't they don't seem as rubbish as uh, some of the Wii ones. I don't yeah, think. they run quite as annoying, especially ones like the one while well, Luigi's on just now, which is yeah. almost more of a kind of tricycle. So uh, yeah. um, it, we say that as we plough straight <laughs> into it. <a laughs> no, yeah, you. it's really easy to control. <laughs> <laughs> End of that. Uh, what are we going next? This is Cheap Cheap Beach from the DS, uh, Mario Kart DS. Um, again, it's making use of the, the fact that you can now go underwater. So when you drop into the water before um, in Cheap Cheap Beach, there was the, you were kind of throwing yourself into all sort, sorts mm -hmm. of problems. But now when you drop into the water, you can just kind of, it switches to your underwater mode and you can power through it fairly easily, yeah. as you can see there. That's awesome, isn't yeah. it? It doesn't like slow you down or anything like that. It's, a bit, no. it's, it's sort of a bit like you know, in like the first time you fall in the water in Arkham City in Batman and he doesn't <laughs> die. Yeah. It's like ah, awesome. <laughs> exactly. This um, is a, I think actually no, this is probably yeah, this the is, best one that they've you've got uh, your, done. Yeah, you've got your walls now to side. Plus, a lot of the cars now um, have ramps on the back of them which you can you can trick off. Um, some of them some of them have got surfboards. I think you'll see on the left. Yeah. They, they, what they've got surfboards you can trick off. But other cars have got, uh, some of the trucks have got just massive ramps that you can actually trick off and then glide from on the yeah. top of other cars. It's and you can actually as well, there's a, there's a section where you can uh, sort of traverse from the truck to the side of the wall as well yeah, using it, which, which is, is just awesome. Insane. It adds just like another level of stuff. Plus it seems like there's like, the cars are actually useful rather than just getting in your way. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple of bits where if you miss the first uh, sort of ramp up, there's still other chances to get onto the ramp and to get the other boosts as well. Yeah. Uh, but that, yeah, that, that both that one and the Mario circuit, I think, like those are the best use of the retro tracks. Yeah, definitely. And more retro stuff in the Banana Cup. Yep, this is Dry Dry Desert, um, which it was never really one of my favourite tracks, to be no, honest. But yeah. um, So it's kind of odd that they put that in it. But um, I think it's from Mario Kart DS, I believe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it, it does the job. It, this is this is probably the one that's changed least from uh, from the original. I found this one a bit boring, yeah. to be honest. But yeah, any, de any desert levels of Mario always find a bit boring, to be honest. Yeah, of, of the ones we've played so far, this probably is the, the least uh, the least exciting. But again, like I say, probably because it does the least yeah. uh, different with it, um, other than being able to check. Well, there's a kind of slightly re uh, redone blue shell that, that skids across the ground and then raises up in it. Yeah. Um, the blue shell I noticed came kind of appeared less frequently than it usually does. Barely, we actually kept asking like sort of the PR reps whether or not there was actually a blue shell in it yeah. because we didn't see it at all almost. Yeah, for quite um, a while, which so. is a bit crazy. Um, from what we've seen, I mean, we played five hours and there was no pow block to be seen as well. No, so from yeah. what we can tell, it's probably gone. This is Donut Plains Three. Um, cool. This is from the SNES. We haven't seen the uh, the pa one of my favorite power ups, which was the oh the, the piranha plant. The piranha plant. Yeah, yeah. I think that that'll turn up at some point. I believe. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I like that this is one that kind of impressed me more than most because I'm a bit of a nerd. And <laughs> the fact that it's based on a SNES stage where all the tracks, um, oh, there's a piranha plant on the right. Ah, now. awesome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, when it eats, when it eats people, um, it gives you a speed burst at the same time. So, it's yeah. kind of almost like a star in, in the amount the, the power awesome. that it gives you. But obviously, it still leaves you exposed at the back, so to speak. Oh, okay. so, yeah. And this is Royal Raceway from N64. Um, Again, not too much to change here, except there's a bit um, where you now have a massive gliding section. Yeah. Whereas once before, I think it was a cannon you, you originally had. Yeah. Um, so that changes it slightly, but um, it's just a really... Although the track itself hasn't changed much, it looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, all the trees have been redone. The, the castle itself has got like a, almost like a makeover, so it looks different. Although the castle was also in Mario Circuit, um, it's, it's, it's a completely different looking Peach's Castle. It's been kind of decorated for, for autumn, as it were. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the kind of new gliding section. Nice, that does look awesome. And then finally, this is DK Jungle. This is one that was in Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. Yeah. Just showing that the, all the kind of retro courses um, also take into account this is so the, the 3DS one. Um, also, there's a couple of retro ones that haven't been officially announced, but were shown in the original Nintendo Direct. Right. Uh, I think Music Park from the 3DS one, you know, the, the kind of music yeah, theme. Yeah, yeah, that was And awesome. the TikTok Clock from the DS game. Okay. Um, were also in, in the Nintendo Direct when they first announced this, so we expect to see them in later cups. But yeah, it's nice to see the, these kind of old tracks. I really like this track in the 3DS version. Yeah. Um, and again, this one hasn't changed too much just because, purely because it just came out. Yeah. <laughs> a year or two ago, there's a couple of the anti-gravity bits, but other than yeah. that. Um, the trick cool. bits are awesome. I think, yeah, these were the best. These were everything that the 3DS people, sh when they were advertising the 3DS version, this track was the one that they were like, look at all the sort of gliding bits and things like that. Yeah. So, and yeah, you can understand why they wouldn't change it, really. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what we've seen of Mario Kart so far. We expect to see loads more before it comes out on May 30th. If you like the video, then subscribe to our channel. Okay, cheers.